I have not been to the uh, second track I'm still working on in a while and it's uh, for a number of reasons including the holidays but now here we are so I'm going to show you guys some progress. My stabilizer video holder thing is out of battery so I'm just going to show you guys old school with my hand holding the phone. All right, so we can see a lot of the plumbing and wiring has been taken care of. So this is where the new sink is going to be. So that's all plumbing for water coming in and water going down into a brand new plumbing stack and all that. Back here is going to be a washer dryer station. So we're all set, plug, plumbing, all that back here. All right, so we just have a wall between this section and this section. We now have opened that up. This is gonna be a big kitchen. Behind that is the bathroom. The tub is under this cardboard protective box. And in here, space for a toilet and a vanity. Not much has been done in the living space because we didn't need to do much to it other than some decorative trim that we're gonna be pulling out. We did change this. There used to be a doorway that was at the right end of this. And now we've moved it, we pushed it over to be the further in. So you can see all these pieces of wood here give you some strong support to hold the new doorway. And then we've got some, some of the families we bought for the house are sitting in here and they'll go upstairs and downstairs accordingly. So, and that used to be a doorway that is going to be blocked off and this will be a full-on bedroom with a closet over there. Okay, we don't have lights yet, but you can see where there will be pot lights on these metal brackets. You can see where plumbing's gonna go for the sink. You can see where the washer dryer is gonna fit in the basement. That's the supply lines in the waste, so all the water coming in and out is gonna be in there. This will be a little laundry room. All of this stuff, the plumbing stack that's been changed. It's honestly really inspiring to see the transformation in here. Brand new furnace. There's our new water tank. Well, it's tankless. It's an on-demand water system. On the top floor, we used to have the kitchen on that wall. And all the pipes and all that kind of stuff were in this one wall. And we switched it out. Now the sink is going to be over here on the brick wall. So it'll be kind of cool when you're washing dishes. Again, back here, we've got another washer dryer station. So this is our third. And we've leveled out the ground. So it's a lot, uh, it feels a lot safer. It feels a lot stronger. So we're good there. Right? And when you walk through here into this brick room, this is where we've done all that work, getting rid of the walls and all that. Open this whole thing up so that we have a very wide living room. All right, the master bedroom for the ground floor. If this is the master. Haven't done much, but we did get new windows. Remember that? So the windows are glorious. And honestly, it's not that cold out. It's not cold in here, and it's minus, I don't know, 6,000 outside right now. So I've got some work to do on the very top floor. As you can see, it's all just studs, no walls. Actually, that's strapping. That's another session I'll explain later on. But this is big. It's very big. This dumb section of I don't know what. I've told them to block it off. Like I don't get it. I don't know why it's there. There used to be an access point from here, and you can see now they put this wood up. In front of that wood will be drywall. Sorry, my last video got cut off there when I was filming uh, the phone rang. Anyway, I gotta say I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. I'm, the results are, are pretty good. We're on track for schedule. We're on track for budget for the most part. Um, we've elected to make a couple changes to that because it's just the right thing to do, and we have access to that kind of money. So um, overall, it, it's it's coming together. 